To all my sons worldwide, all my juniors, I apologize for my absence. I know I left you without a name to drop. I don't know how I expected you to get your cloud up and get your money up, but don't worry. Daddy's home. Turn me up. Yeah, niggas know they need to stop. Now I'm standing at the top, that's how I know you never seen the top. Sierra K parking lot, looking like that the city parking lot. Hit the talks when I walk by, like your mom's open when you drop. Hey, drop. Yeah, and I'm coming with the wild. Good morning, Rich Gang. So it's 7.32 in the morning. And today I'm getting ready to go shopping for the kids' um, school supplies. And I'm not taking them with me because... I just don't even have time to be saying, stop. No, don't do that. Put that back. Stop running in here. Don't hit each other. Why are you crying? Yeah, so, and I just need to get in, get this done, and everything like that. So, I was going to go to Dollar Tree first and then go to Walmart and get everything needed at Walmart. But I think I'm going to do it the opposite way around. Go to Walmart first and then whatever else, go to Dollar Tree. So, yeah, that's what I'm about to do. But first, before I leave, I'm about to feed the kids um, some oatmeal this morning. And yeah, I really like my hair like this. Um, I just like it. I, I just like being natural and stuff like that. So yeah, this is it for the next week. All right, so I'm about to read y'all the list of stuff I have to buy today. Six composition notebooks. I thought it was eight. Two slider cork bags and two slider packs of gallon bags. Two packs of construction paper. Four boxes of 24 count crayons. Two 12 pack of number two pencils. 12 folders. And then there's certain colors. Two packs of four pack glue sticks. One bottle of glue. Two clipboards. Four bottles of 7.5 ounce pump hand sanitizer, four boxes of tissue, one set of headphones, two packs of baby wipes and disinfectant wipe, four pinky racers, and one one inch binder. And that's for both of theirs combined. Both of their school is combined together, the kindergarten and the second grade. I think it's sort of ridiculous. And I forgot the dryer is not because a lot of this is for the teacher. Why y'all don't provide the, the, the teachers with their own supplies? Like, I don't mind providing my students with supplies. And one box of tissue is fine. One, like, but it's no way they need four packs of crayons each. And it's the only reason I only have four is because I already had some boxes of crayons here. And then... It's just, it's a little bit. And then two bottles of 7.5 hand sanitizer each. Um, it's just that people have multiple kids, so it's just like, this done made me mad. And a partridge in a pear tree. After I finished reading the list to my grandma, she was like, and a partridge in a pear tree. And then um, some of this stuff I ain't even put on my list because I'm just not gonna do it. Sorry. Y'all, this is the first time I'm really going somewhere without them. <laughs> It'd be very seldom. It'd be like church or I have to ask me like, hey, you mind if they stay here while like grocery shop? You know, I just don't like put my kids off on people. But today I was like, not today. Y'all not going to this school shop. It's gonna be a lot of people. It's gonna be tax free weekend. I don't have time. I don't have time. But yeah, we on the way, let's go. I just left for a mark, it wasn't a thing in it. I'm talking about not a thing. It was pitiful, it was just, we should have known though. Me and all the parents that was in there were looking so stretched out. I'm going to Dollar Tree. I knew I should have came to Dollar Tree first. I done got up in Dollar Tree and I see everything that they didn't have at Walmart. 
the lady at Walmart talking about Dollar Tree too high. Girl, for who? I'm rich. I make ten thousand dollars a month off um, Dollar Tree. I mean, I make ten thousand dollars a month off you too. Like, what are you talking about? Life of luxury. Dollar Tree me. Walmart ain't have not one composition notebook. I know I should have just came to Dollar Tree first, bro. Nah, old girl was right. This basket definitely finna be expensive as hell. Yeah, this is finna be a cool flippy. told y'all it was gonna be a cool 50 bucks and it turned out to be $49.36 yeah that way in fact let me go lock my door before I have to beat somebody up about these school supplies all right I just got three pair of shoes out of Ross for the kids I forgot it was tax free weekend so they actually came out to be cheaper than I thought they would so this was perfect okay so I'm finally back in the car after that um today I also plan to take the kids to Peter Piper pizza to play and eat some pizza and stuff so we're gonna do that today too it's a long day it's a crowded pack day you know what the mom deserves a treat after all this shopping for my kids and i'm gonna see what this gangnam rice place talking about you can make a little bowl and everything so we're gonna i'm gonna go in there and look y'all i don't even know what to say it's kind of funny looking okay so she told me it don't even um open up till 11 when i got in there it's 10 45 I'm not really finna wait because after going in there, I just, I ain't like the way nothing look. Like everything did not, everything looks it horrible. And even the, I, mm -mm, baby, it's all right. They got a good feet store for foot pain, back pain. I don't need to be in there. Y'all know my feet be hurting so bad every day after I stand up for even 30 minutes, I be in pain. I just saw Applebee's that also opened up at 11, and I'm trying to see if I should wait till 11 because they probably got like a turn right, a then lunch turn right. special and everything Proceed going on. Proceed to the route. Stay in the third lane from left. I, you know, they don't have Applebee's in Alabama, so I ain't had Applebee's in so long. I could get one of them. Um, in three quarters of a mile, honey barbecue turn left chicken with the Southwest ranch. Green Oaks Boulevard. For like ten dollars. Or I don't know how much it costs. I'm trying to see what's on the way home. There's so much stuff on the way. Either way, it'll still come out to Applebee's prices. I think I'm going to stop and, and chill at, um, what that's behind me? Master's Farm. I think I'm going to stop and wait and go to, um, Applebee's. I just keep riding in the sub, like, little shopping centers. <laughs> I see they got a wing stop. I swear wing stop so trash to me, but I'm going to go up in there because why not? It's been a long time. And two Maybe I got a new flavor. Turn right onto Crate. All right, I'm finna go ahead and crank up my Tesla and then I'm finna get out my full mug bang, full opinion on Wingstop. The last time I had Wingstop was 2020. I don't remember what I got. What I do remember is I got it. It was nasty and I never went back again. So, this is gonna be like retrying it all over again. And didn't Keith Lee say he liked like, like Wingstop, one of his favorite places to go? I was shocked. I was like, what? What wing stop are we talking about? This right here area don't even have enough sunlight. I need to be somewhere the sun is hitting the car. So let me move my me trying to find sunlight for y'all and still barely finding sunlight is like crazy, but that'll work. All right, let's pull this back out again. We got the fries again. So far, we're starting off at a zero because it took 20 minutes to get my food. But I think they one of them places that apparently um, wait to cook your food until you get in there. So I guess that'll get them like a, 
or whatever. So I got two flavors. I'll get them a two because I like the fact that they let you choose two flavors for any like thing thing. Even if you get a six piece. A lot of restaurants don't do that. So y'all see here what I got. I don't know if it's taking a thumbnail picture or not. But you like my boy? It turned you on sexy. Then, then I wanted to eat inside. They had no chairs, no tables for you to eat inside. Just like this big wooden couch. It looked like a big wooden couch. It's just a big bench. That really grind my gears. What? Oh, I thought I didn't have no sauce. Okay, this looks like a nice size sauce or whatever. So the two flavors I got was garlic parmesan. And uh, Louisiana rub. Let's start with a French fry. Then they got all the brown on the fry. I don't like that. Why are these fries semi sweet? Flip it over. Ugh. It tastes like a sweet potato fry and it's not even, what they put sugar in my fries? Those are disgusting. Two out of 10. Let's try what you call it. Uh, um, garlic Parmesan. I should have took a bite without ranch because I taste mostly ranch. Okay, I got all the ranch off. <laughs> you like my voice? It turned you on. All right, let's taste the part without the ranch. tasted way better garlic parmesan in this but it's good so I'm gonna give it a six it tastes way better with the ranch These are pretty much the only two flavors I would try on the whole thing. Oh my god. My shirt trying to eat my food. Alright, let's try Louisiana rub. First, let's bite it with no with no ranch, Louisiana rub. <coughs> Definitely spicy. Um, the rub just seemed like it's mostly just Cajun sauce. Um, right now I'm giving it a 5 out of 10, but let's try it with some ranch. Woo! I'm still giving it a 5 out of 10, so we got a 6 and a 5 out of 10. I can't believe Keith Lee be going hard about it. And I love Keith Lee. I remember two years ago when I got that other flavor, I think it was lemon pepper, and it was just, 
it was so much lemon it was ridiculous. I didn't like it. So these are two flavors I haven't tried. So But yeah, that's my rating. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat these and I'm gonna head to the house. Let me try to put some garlic parmesan Louisiana bread because Yeah. All right. All right, let's go back home to these tips. Riley, these are your school shoes. I like it. I like it purple. I want to put them on. No, nope. go other school shoes, Riley. So I like mine. Gray one. Thank you. Jakari. It's like shadow. <laughs> I like you got a bunch of shoes more than Riley, but these are your school shoes too. Yep. Just I got like them shadow. in a size and. I got a lot of shoes. Why Don't worry. Daddy's home. And I know I miss so much over here. Hurry up. Yeah. Niggas know they need to stop. Now I'm standing at the top. That's how I know you never seen the top. Sierra K parking lot. Looking like Daddy City parking lot. Get the talks when I walk by. Like you know it's open when you drop. Hey, drop. Yeah. And I'm coming with the walk. Y'all niggas not popping. Fuck it, and she going shopping. Well, I'm running out of ops. Yeah, I'm running out of options. Put them up for adoption. They've been cutting up all day, so I got these scary ones watching the haunted mansion. Oh, this yeah. channel. <laughs> all right, it is the next morning. So, you know, in the morning times, I have to spend time with the Lord. And yesterday was Friday. Today is Saturday. So. We're going to start with the little prayer book. And then, you know, I go over to my God girl. And then I see what the um, scripture today is on the uh, Bible app, etc. So, Laura, what is the prayer for us today? Let's find out. <laughs> because he is a good God. That is the prayer for today. So, Lord, help me to trust that you are a good God no matter what is going on in my life. Help me to believe that without any doubting, that even if bad things are happening, your goodness will reign in the midst of them all. Thank you that your plans for me are good. Thank you that the future you have for me is good. Thank you that you bring good things into my life. Reveal your goodness to me more and more so that I may praise you for it. How great is your goodness to those who trust and fear you? Oh Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Oh, that men will give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works of children of men. It's so crazy because I was just on someone's live on um, my spiritual podcast lady um, and two of our Irish live. And she was just talking about today. We just need to have a celebration for all the things that we feel is not a celebration. Whether the fact that you have a job, even if you've had the job already for six months, she was saying that basically it's still a new job. And celebrate the fact that you have that job. Or if you moved, even if you moved six months ago, just go back and celebrate things that you are thankful for now. Like imagine if every time you see a thing that someone gave you, you, you text them and say thank you. So like my daddy bought me a car well, a year ago. Imagine if every time I got in my car, I text my dad and I was like, you know what, dad? Thank you so much for this car. Like, thank you so much. That's so crazy that I got this car. Like, even though it was a year ago, it would really make them feel good. So we need to do the same thing with God. And so, yeah. Now let's find, um, Lord, give us one for the day. Okay, we got two pages. I always have to figure out which page.
Ich bin ganz gut. Let's read. Hmm. We're going to read the purple page. I don't know. The scripture is 1 Samuel 2 and 7. So it's the Lord causes poverty and grants wealth. He humbles people. He also promotes them. <clears throat> so, blaming all the hard times in your life on Satan can be easy. After all, he's out to get you and all of God's kids. But remember, it wasn't Satan who sent Jesus to the cross. It wasn't his idea to torture and kill Jesus. It was God's. So when something totally painful happens to you, don't blame it on the enemy because that's making it about him. Just focus on the one who will give you hope and peace and trust God and make it about him. Each attack and each abuse you experience should be a stepping stone to lead you closer to God and not closer to the enemy. As you watch the world fall apart around you, Remember that God is in control and that out of misery can come something beautiful. Just like salvation came from the bloody cross. That's what Hannah was acknowledging in her prayer. See Samuel, sec the second chapter, verse 1 through 10 to see her prayer. Don't let the enemy take what can be. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Don't let the enemy take what can be a tool in the hand of God and make it a weapon to cripple you. Rise above the pain into the realm of the holiness and know that God lets suffering in your life lets suffering in your life to help make you holy. Should you choose the path of perfection over misery and complaint? Don't allow your pain to be wasted or to be used against you. But harness it and take advantage of the perfecting power of it. Then and only then will you be set free from the power of the enemy. So. Those are the words. Let's see what the scripture for today is. <clears throat> uh, the light shines in the dark and the dark cannot put out. The light. And so, yeah, we just need to focus on the light that's within ourselves. That's what I'm picking up from this. Celebrate the good things and don't give the enemy any credit. Focus on how you can use any situation and turn it to the glory of God. And that's what I got for y'all. I think that's how I'm going to end this vlog because it's three days left until school starts here in Texas. And, um, with that being said, I got to do my daughter's hair. You know, I did my, I redid my son's twist and everything. He looked really good. Now I got to do Riley's hair and twisting and everything up. And, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. <laughs> anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate if you know, if you leave a comment and tell me. One thing good that you are celebrating this week, that would make me so happy. Just tell me one thing good that you are celebrating this week and like and share the video with a friend. I love y'all. Yeah. To all my sons worldwide, all my juniors, I apologize for my absence. I know I left you without a name to drop. I don't know how I expected you to get your cloud up and get your money up, but don't worry. Daddy's home. Turn me up. Yeah. Niggas know they need to stop. And I'm standing at the top. That's how I know you never seen the top. Sierra K, you parking lot. Looking like Daddy City parking lot. Hit the talks when I walk by. Like, you know it's open when you drop. Hey, drop. Yeah. And I'm coming with the wop. Y'all niggas not pop. Fuck it, she going shopping. Well, I'm running out of ops. They're yeah, running out of options. Put them up for adoption. Got my name on the dot. This is not love.
baby, this no for a leave, no horseshoe. I'm in the bank to get for you. I'm in New York on John Chetch. Supermodels in the yard sex. Lock the door to the bathroom. Cause they doing something that is not Pepsi. I'm just pouring up the shots. I remember that I told you I missed you. That was kind of like a mass text. I remember that I told you I loved you. That was really in the past tense. I remember that I told you I get the true fears that I get around. Let you have enough to care. 42 here that I tend to get around. Yeah. On bit of dick with the top down. Shorties out here getting knocked down. City coming off a lockdown. Rap niggas doing weak features for a pop artist cause they pop down. You still wanna throw the rock up. Niggas know how. <laughs> Look me in the eyes, Junior. For real. We're at the park with uh, Jasmine and her mom. Swing, too. <gasps> Look at this nigga one. Yeah, this is like the new generation of Monster High. Ugly. I Nothing, but you're don't move only move these. Alright, so I just somewhat did the top of my hair, but y'all hear like my growth spray, it make your hair like so much more manageable. Y'all hear how like this is crunchy and dry and like tangled up. So just like I did at the top, you shake this. It softens the hair like immediately. It immediately softens it. And then I can go in with my detangler brush. By the way, it's the next day, y'all, and I'm getting ready for church. Good morning. To go visit the Potter's house, Pastor T D Dix and Sarah Dix. I hope Sarah Dix is preaching so for some reason I just feel it in my spirit when she be preaching. And I just know when to go. Y'all see how easy it is? I'm telling you, the, the growth spray is not only a hair growth hydrating spray, but it's also like a detangler, a hair conditioner, both ways. So I'm about to put that up as well. All right, so this is the dress. It's a olive green dress and I like the way it it's giving church girl don't hurt nobody <laughs> off to church to see Sarah Jakes and TD Jakes you like my voice? It turned you off. This ain't nothing. <laughs> okay, I decided to show y'all like what I look like with the dress on. Without the scarf. No makeup necessary. If you make it past a certain time, the church is always blocked off. So you have to drive like all the way down there and then come back, turn around and park in the parking lot across the street. The parking lot across the street always packed. But if you get lucky, you come at the time where you'll catch a shuttle across the street or you have to walk across this bridge across the street to get to the church. I'm making it to the shuttle. Put me at the front door. I don't act brand new. by the word of God because God's word is God's seed. Whenever God gets ready to create, he opens his mouth and speaks. 
and God said, and God said, and God said, and it became whatever he said. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Now we must understand then that while we come to church and we enjoy worship and we we, we are commanded to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. The purpose of our exhilaration and our exuberance and our expression is to prepare the ground to receive the seed. Through faith also Sarah herself receives strength to conceive seed. You got to be strong to receive seed. church service and when I tell y'all they broke me I went down into the altar I was holding on real strong until he said for, because people was breaking down all around me but I was like not me not me today I'm not gonna do it and when I say he, when he had everybody touch each other's shoulder I don't even remember what he said but he I remember he, he had everybody touch each other's shoulder that was standing out at the pulpit. And he told them to press down, like press down hard on our shoulder. And I don't remember what he said. I think he said, the presence of God just fell upon you. Like at the same time as we started pressing hard on each other's shoulder. Man, people started hitting the flow. I just bust into tears. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> they got me. They got me. It was just so, like, intimate and personal with God. It just felt like a very intimate and personal moment with God. And then after that, they asked me to join the church. And because I want to be a part of the church festivities, like, you know, I don't have no friends or nothing here like that. And so I want to go to all the church functions and join, like, some of the teams and stuff. So, you know, I can get to know some people here, some good people, some people on the same type of town that I'm on, I went ahead and joined the church. Guess who was at the end of the line shaking hands? Sarah Jakes Roberts shook my hand. Oh my God. Y'all, I wanted to just bust out and hug her, but I was held my ground because I was like, <laughs> we shaking hands for the people that was joining. She was at the end of the line, and I just, I, when she grabbed my hand, I looked her right in her eye, and I just immediately walked off and started crying. It's like, as soon as she touched my hand, I was like, no, I'm finna break down again. It's, why is y'all doing me like this in this service? I'm too gangster for this. But yeah, that's what happened. They broke me down bad. Um, yeah. But yeah. 
now. That's what it is. That's what it is. Now, this is the official end of the vlog. I love y'all. I thank y'all so much for tuning in. Give me this video a thumbs up. Drop some purple hearts in the comments if y'all love me. And I love y'all. I'm out.